Welcome to the rubber hand experience. I want you to put your left hand right here and put your right hand right here. Jonah has participants hide their right hand out of sight behind a divider. He's going to drape this so as if it's your real hand. While he places a rubber hand on the table in front of them. Just stare at this hand. Jonah primes participants by brushing both the fake and real hand simultaneously, a process which helps the brain link the feeling to the fake arm. I feel like you're doing that to my hand, but that's not my hand. My hand's over there, so that's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. Now that Jonah has linked this volunteer's brain to the new hand, he's got an even bigger surprise for her. <laughs> that was Sorry. a little bit scary. <laughs> Good plan. <laughs> oh my goodness. When you hit that thing, I thought I was gonna lose my yeah. hand. <laughs> so I was so scary. And it and it scary. really felt like I felt like that was like I could move those fingers if I wanted to. My brain decided that it was that yeah. I could feel that. Yeah. And that you hitting that was hitting me. Yeah. It's that's so strange how it yeah. does that. Impressive, right? Let's see how many other people fall prey to this mind game. My name's Jonah. Okay, so you keep on staring at that hand. That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. That scared me. <laughs> that scared you? Although around 10% of the participants weren't able to mentally connect the fake hand to their body. Did it feel like I smashed your hand at all? No. No. Most felt some kind of phantom sensation, if not actual pain. <gasps> Jonah is hacking into these people's mental body maps, like, oh causing them to connect information inaccurately. Right. <laughs> nice to meet you. It turns out that about 30% of your brain is devoted to your sense of sight. So when your body must choose between trusting what you're seeing or what your other senses are telling you, it implicitly trusts your eyes and often makes the wrong 